Welcome to the Affinity Sports Online Registration Registrar Toolset. When you log in, first make sure you're in the correct season, Fall 2016-2017. You will simply click on Leagues on the left-hand navigation and select your league. You will first click on the Registration tab and you will set up your play types associated with the age group. So for Elite, you have 2011, 2010, and 2009. You simply check off coach and player. If you have Division I, you select those, recreation, and then you simply scroll down and hit update. That is all you do at the league level. Now you simply click down this little down arrow and go into your club information. Underneath your registration tab, it is a redundant step, but you will check off those age groups associated with that play type. Here is where you have the ability to turn on and off your online registration. Do you require a payment? Do you automatically accept registration? Or do you simply charge the credit card and wait for the acceptance by the registrar? You can set activate dates, so we'd like to go live on May 1st deactivate and would you like a late fee to pull in. Again you simply scroll down and hit update. On the next tab we have club config. This is where we set up a domain name or a URL specific for your club. Once you're ready to go live you put this link on your website. I will click back on the registration tab and set up your fees. So for competitive, I have a registration fee set up as $500. This M stands for mandatory. That means everybody registering online will have to pay this mandatory registration fee. You can also set up optional fees. An OS means it's a fee selected by default, looks like this checkbox here. ON means it's an optional fee not selected by default. So it would be blank and a parent has to opt in to add that product. Many soccer clubs use this for extra jerseys, hoodies, socks, club decals, anything that you would like uh, to show up as a product on the payment page that the parent can opt in or opt out for. I'll simply click update or update fee and payment plan. Here's where you can set up the number of installments. You can set up all the way up to 12 months. I'll simply click on edit. The system will equally calculate a $500 registration fee broken up in four installments of $125, but many organizations want to charge a little bit more on the deposit. So you can simply change the amount and then reconfigure the amounts you want to charge monthly. The system will auto charge these parents based on the the criteria you set up here. So I want the deposit at the time of registration and then the next one would be June 1st, July 1st and then you might want to put the last installment as August 1st. You simply click update and then you would apply the settings to all other age groups with the same play type and fee structure. Next we're going to click on discounts. You can set up promotional codes, which could be used for a board member discount, scholarship, financial aid, um, any type of discount that you want to offer. You can set up as many promotional codes as you'd like. We also offer sibling discounts, max family cap. So if there's a, a cap where no matter if you have three children or five, you'll never pay more than $300. We also offer returning player discount. So this is very popular in rec organizations where maybe for spring it was your first time signing up with that soccer club and now you're returning for the fall season and you would like to give a discount. Next, we'll click on Custom Fields. This is additional gathering tools where you can set up anything you'd like. You can create a text box where the parent would type in their answer. Radio buttons are good for yes-no type of questions. You can do a list box, drop-down menu, 
or check boxes where they can select more than one option. So maybe this is where you want to encourage volunteers and they want to sign up to be a team manager as well as help out on picture day. You simply put the title in here, volunteers needed, and then you put in the options here, head coach, assistant coach, team manager, picture day, etc. You simply scroll down and say show on application applies to players and this is a required field add custom field. You can create as many as you'd like or you don't have to create any at all. It is completely optional. The next area is fields. You click on this link here, change youth registration page config, and this is where you have the ability to customize and add instructions to any of the pages during the online registration process. You simply click this next feature here, and if you want you can click on edit and this will load our content editor and you could put any information in here you'd like. So let's say you want to remove everything and you want to type a message in here. Please select option one to get started. And then you simply hit save. Next, this is where the parent will enter their information. And on this page, fields configuration, this is where you can make certain data fields hidden, shown, or required. So maybe for your soccer organization, you want to make the player upload required, as well as the birth certificate collection. Height, weight, and number of seasons played prior, you might want to hide that school name required, grade required, and then you simply scroll down and hit save. Okay, I will go ahead and close that window down. The next area is the content tab. This is where you can customize the look and feel of your online registration. We have a color scheme drop down so you can simply change the background image of your online. You can upload a graphic or a header here could put your logo in and put any ad space or uh, sponsorships on your online. Content, you just simply click on the welcome tag and this is your very front page of your online registration that your parents see. So all of these pages here you can simply customize. You can delete everything you see here and put any information in here you'd like documents and forms. If you have any player registration forms, scholarships, um, anything that you want parents to actually print out at the end, you can simply upload them here. Otherwise, if you're trying to go paperless, you can simply set up electronic legal agreements. This way, this will force the parent that they have to agree to the terms and, con and conditions before they can continue on and make their payment. You can have one long electronic legal agreement or simply set up multiple different ones. Uh, some that we have seen at Affinity Sports are refund policies, code of conduct, and medical release. The next tab is messaging. Simply click on player registration, thank you. And this is where you have the ability to customize the system generated email that is sent to your parents roughly two to five minutes after submission. You can use these macros on the left hand side to personalize the body of the email and write any kind of message you'd like and hit save and continue. Okay. And last but not least, again under registration, you have to agree to our terms and conditions before you go live with your online and then you have the ability to turn it on and off. So let's say a division or age bracket is full, you might want to simply uncheck those. So 2009 and 2008 are no longer available for registration, but my other divisions are still opened. If you are interested in using Affinity Sports as your online registration provider, we recommend that you contact your account manager uh, for setup and we have a complete onboarding team that walks you through this process, uh, helps you understand how to run payments, uh, reports, and answer any questions you have along the way. 
We do have phenomenal support. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time, and on the weekends from 7 to 3.30. I hope this video was very helpful, and we look forward to working with your organization. Thank you.